Charity Preston here from the Organized Classroom blog. I hope you are fantastic and wonderful today. Today we're going to be doing a fun little project that of course I saw and adapted from Pinterest. I saw the original pin and the original source came from Tat Treasures blog and I think it's just super adorable and I can see you incorporating it into a K to probably third or fourth grade classroom. You are going to need colored wide craft sticks and you are going to need the Velcro dots and then some kind of box to put the materials in. And all you're going to do is, literally it's so easy, you're going to take the craft sticks and you're going to put the, the Velcro dots, they have the adhesive on the back, right on either side, on both sides. Now I do have the wooden popsicle sticks or I do have foam ones. Too. So it's going to be up to you as to what you decide to do. Now this is so easy. You have everything just in a box ready to go and then have the students maybe have a bunch of them or even in groups or whatever you want to do and they can create things with them. Now it's going to obviously, see how they stick? It's going to obviously depend on your grade level as to what they're making. So maybe in a younger grade level they're creating letters. Maybe in a third grade classroom, they're making geometric shapes, whatever works for you. Even patterning is going to work as well. And what I mean by that, and here is my fancy little craft book here, or craft uh, box that I have. And inside the box, I have a key ring with cards and then all of my sticks. My know I'll have the Velcro on them because I didn't put them all on there yet. But that's what they'll be. You'll have them all in there. This could be set right at a center. And inside, you've got this fancy little thing. If you go to my blog post straight down below here, you will see in YouTube, the very first thing you'll see in the description is a link. The link will take you to my blog post where you can get this free download. I have um, pattern. I decided to do popsicle sticks pattern cards. There are nine cards in the pack for free. It's a little sampler pack. I think I'm going to create some more that are definitely more extensive, but there are some really fun, easy ones in here, like just create an open figure. If you're dealing with third graders, even second graders that need to learn that math terminology, an open figure or a closed figure, this one is show me a closed figure, have them create them with the sticks. It would be so easy to do that. Then you've also, of course, got a free choice. They can make whatever they want for the free choice. This one is a little bit trickier. This one is using six sticks, two of each color, create a figure where each color is parallel to itself. So obviously it's gonna be six-sided hexagon and the opposite sides will be parallel to each other and they will be the same color. But really they, they have to think about some of those things. Uh, make a symmetrical figure. Okay, these are just some ones probably for second, third grade, but I did include a blank card in the set so that way if you are a kindergarten, first grade teacher, you can say, hey, make me an A or whatever that you want to do with them as well. Then when they're finished, obviously they can do their work at a center, at a table, wherever they happen to be. They are going to open up their box, put everything back in here. I'm going to take all of their sticks and they're just going to slide them all back in here with the key ring as well. Close it up and it's ready to go for the next day for the center. Very little prep work for you, very little cleanup. Use the cards that I've provided, laminate them. You can write right on top of the lamination for the blank ones. You can make as many as you like and they'll last from year to year. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Definitely thanks to Tat Treasures for that fantastic idea of creating the sticks that I saw on Pinterest. And of course on my blog post, they will get full credit as well. So I hope you have enjoyed today's fun little session. And I would love to hear in the comments in my blog post, I would love to hear how you could use this same idea in your classroom. What kind of concepts or skills would you work on? Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. Bye.